welcome to Deepika Makeup. Hope you're all doing super awesome. So this video is going to be a haul video and I've been picking up some things here and there. So this video is going to be all over the place. I have some makeup organizers, some clothes and uh, some makeup. So without any further ado, let's just begin this video because my hauls tend to get very long and I want to keep it short, as short as possible. So let's begin. So the first things I have here are some makeup organizers from Office Depot. So a, a store near uh, me is actually closing down. So I just went in to see like if they have any sales or something. And I've been eyeing on Office Depot stationery organizers for a very long time. And I'm going to use them for uh, my makeup. So the first thing I picked up is this. Uh, one which I can use it for palettes or if I just put in some um, you know vase fillers or flower fillers I can use it as a brush holder as well this is originally $15 but I got it off I got it at 60% off so that's a fantastic deal and this is what I always wanted and there were many matching things for these but I didn't want to pick up I just wanted like these plain things to just put my palettes and brushes so I picked up two of these so that's that and then I also picked up this uh, really nice purple acrylic uh, makeup organizer I I don't know I just don't like the purple color but then I really like uh, the organizer so I just ended up picking it so this has here one slot to put my palette and then I have two slots here um, for makeup brushes like eye brushes and stuff like that even these I can use for brushes or pencils and I can put some palettes and little things here so this is very very functional and this was originally seven dollars but I got it for three dollars which is just awesome I just couldn't pass that all right the next things I have here are some organizers from the container store. So that's that. I don't really have too many. But I went to meet uh, Danny Coffee Break with Danny and she did a meet and greet at the uh, container store uh, quite nearby me. And uh, I was browsing around the store and I saw these uh, drawers and I absolutely fell in love with the color and pattern. Obviously, you all know I love coral so I had to pick this up but the pattern is so spring and summery and it would look so good um, on my vanity so I just picked it up. And this was originally $25 and it was on sale for $14 and I absolutely love it. It fits a lot of things. so. It has two drawers and it's quite big so I'm very very excited to just put it on top of my vanity. I just love the print and I also picked up um, these uh, pen holders. I'm going to use it for brushes or some pencils or stuff like that and it has some dividers inside but you can always like just pull this off and use it like a one hole uh, container so those are the things i picked up and these were originally seven dollars but these were on sale for four dollars so that's what i got for my makeup organization let me put it back and then um let's move on to some clothes and uh, this was just one trip i just really wow did you hear that it's raining like crazy in dallas for the last one week it's like on and off it's raining a lot of thunders and i'm so 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 scared of thunders all right so anyways i went shopping just for one day um and uh, i picked up a few things um i wanted a denim um shirt for a long time so i finally ended up picking it from uh, h&m so yeah that's the shirt and i absolutely love it it fits so well on me that I'm so happy. Usually, shirt, I'm not a big fan of shirts because I don't know, for some reason, I look very chubby in shirts. They are kind of loose and I don't know, I don't like the fitting of shirts, but then this denim shirt is awesome. Like, if you see this at H&M, definitely try out and I, I'm sure you'll love it because I love the fitting on it. And then the next one I picked up is a t-shirt and it's in this beautiful light pink color. It has lace detailing and they have a bunch of colors in this. This was $10 so I couldn't pass. 
and I don't really have uh, many clothes in light pink so I got that and then I also got a tube top I never tried a tube top or a tube dress but I just wanted to start doing it because I worked out a lot on my chest and I think like my chest is at a good shape right now so I'm comfortable wearing tube tube tops right now so I just got a, like a very basic black tube top um, you know if, if at all in the future if I'm not really comfortable wearing I can always wear this under a cardigan or you know use this up as a cami or something so I just got a basic black cami and these were two for ten dollars so that's that and I have some things from um, Forever 21 so just two things that first one I have here is this pajama and this was on sale and I got it for I don't know like less than five dollars so I have a few pajamas from forever 21 and they work okay they're like not the best ones but they're fine and then when I saw this for like that cheap so I just wanted to get it that's that and the next one I have here is just like a top you it's like a pajama top um, it's like a long shirt so that's the next one and this was also on sale and I got it for less than $10 so that's the next one and then uh, you all know I always love uh, Forever 21 camis and these are the things I wear, uh, wear under my shirts if I wear any sheer tops so that's that and this one I got it for that H&M pink top all right and then I have uh, some accessories just one from uh, Forever 21 these are these really nice uh, rose gold studs i'm sorry if you hear the thunders i'm ex i just can't do anything <laughs> about it so right so these are just these beautiful very simple disc rose gold um, studs so that's the first one and then i have an ebay necklace and um, this is uh, like a knockoff for uh, i believe a j crew yeah a j, uh, j crew uh, necklace i don't really know the name but uh, you can actually search for this on uh, ebay like martha multi tier double pearl something use these words and you will actually find this and uh, i got it for i think three dollars so i'm very happy i was able to bid for that less price so that's how it looks and i absolutely love it it's definitely a unique piece for my collection i don't really have any pearl with uh, the statement so i just absolutely love it that finishes my little fashion haul and let's move on to the makeup i have quite a bunch of makeup so let's begin uh, the first things i have here are um, is my julep uh, box i i think it's a box i'm not sure if i ordered it separately or uh, it's a box um, so I got the oxygen bonding base coat and then um, it's just like a base coat with some kind of tint to it it's actually good and then I just obsessed with this polish and this is called Randy so it's a beautiful pink color it's definitely unique to my collection I have a lot of pink colors but this one actually stands out I don't know how to explain but it's a very very pretty pink it's so good for uh, spring and summer and it looks very beautiful on my nails and uh, and it actually dries matte when I wear it I used it quite a few times so absolutely love that and again I, uh, I have another beautiful color and this is called uh, Danielle and it's like a blue green dual chrome color kind of like uh, a mermaid color so that's that it's again a very very beautiful color haven't worn it yet and then um, I ordered my favorite um, nail polish remover they are finally back in stock so if you love these just go get these um, and I got two of those so I don't run out of nail polish remover for some time and I absolutely love these little bottles so okay, the next things I have here are some goodies from Colourpop finally I decided to place an order on Colourpop I've been hearing about this brand for a very 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 long time and everybody says very good things about it so I just went ahead and got me some goodies and I'm also going to place another order because they just released their 
highlighters and bronzers so i also want to try those but right now i just picked up one thing from each category so i just want to just try it out first and then decide if i want to pick up more or not because the texture of these are very different it's like a moussey kind of texture so you have to know how to work with it if i feel that it is actually a you know a little more um what you said it if i feel that it takes a few more steps to achieve what i want i'm just going to skip it because i like those really quick and simple products so actually give some tips on how to apply those because the texture is definitely different from any other brand so at all you can figure out how to use those you can just use their uh, tips and tricks they included uh, tips for blushes eyeshadows and um, lip products as well and then a cute little note which says you're just like bacon you make everything better color pop really really cute i mean they write the same thing for a lot of people but a little personalized note is very very good I appreciate that and the first one i got is an eyeshadow and uh, this is called on the rocks it's like a beautiful neutral bronzy color but it has bunch of gold and purple shimmer in it it's absolutely beautiful that's what i have on my eyelids right now yes it did take some time for me to actually put this on my eyelids because i first tried with a regular eyeshadow brush not really pigmented and i felt like the glitter was not sticking onto my eyelids so I just went ahead and applied with my fingers it was very good but then later I just applied with a wet brush and it actually made my glitter stick on my eyelids and I absolutely love the pigmentation and the metallic um, metallic look it gave so absolutely love it so that's the color right. next I also picked up a blush and they have such beautiful blushes that I couldn't just pick one but I just picked one <laughs> because I just wanted to try first before I just go ahead and build my collection so the blush I got is called between the sheets so it's like a mauve dusty mauve color with some pink to it and uh, it that's what I have on my cheeks right now if you can see these you have to apply with a denser brush and uh, these actually the pigmentation is not so good but you can always build it up and then once it's on it doesn't move at all and uh, I absolutely love the natural finish it gives even though it looks like such vibrant it doesn't come off as vibrant on your cheeks and it actually looks very very natural which I absolutely love so that's that and the next one I have here is a lip combo so what they do is they create a lipstick and then they also create a lip liner which goes with it so I got the uh, combo. The lip combo I picked up is called Tootsie. It's a dupe for a Lime Crime Cashmere. And uh, Lime Crime Cashmere is a very unique color. And I actually wanted to see how it looks on my skin tone. You know, just to see how it looks on my skin tone. But I don't really want to buy anything from Lime Crime because they have a lot of things going on. That's one thing. But they, I also heard that even though they have some ingredients which are not vegan they claim to say that they are vegan products so i don't know what else they are mixing I'm, i don't know for some reason i just don't want to buy it so i was searching for uh, those dupes and i came across this one and i just went ahead and got this because the combo is just ten dollars so it's good to try and that's what i have on my lips right now i have a brown lip liner underneath because i don't know i just want to be on the safe side just not look not look like i have gray lips on so i just went ahead and applied some brown lip liner and top of it i applied this lipstick so let me give you the swatches so uh, i used to have a lipstick from lacme when i was in um, my school and uh, like kind of when i was in teenage and early 20s i used to wear that lip color a lot i still have that lipstick actually i have to just see how it looks uh, you know compares against this one but I really I'm sure that it was more like a brownish mud color it was a very unique color and I used to rock that so lime crime cashmere reminded me of that so I just went ahead and got it's more mauve so that's that 
that's Tootsie, Tube for Lime Crime Cashmere, and that's what I have on my lips right. Alright, the next thing I picked up is uh, this palette. This is Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. And I wasn't following Morphe Brushes because I didn't hear about them before uh, Jaclyn Hill uh, announced her palette. And uh, when it got released, I saw the palette and I thought like, you know what, I don't really need any palette, so let's me just, let me just skip it. But then I used Sham's uh, palette when she brought that to New York and I decided that if at all this palette gets re-released -re again, I'm definitely going to order this because literally you don't really need any other palette if you are carrying this. You just have literally everything. The only thing that is missing if you have to point out something is a matte highlighter, uh, like a matte cream highlighter and also some matte black. But other than that, you have like literally a lot of blending matte blending matte uh, transition colors that you need i mean i don't need any other transition colors like beautiful transition colors beautiful blending colors crease outer weave those mattes are all there plus there are some neutral all over lip colors and also some pop-up colors like pinks purple green the orange color it's beautiful man i also have like a orangey coral color here which is matte again so i absolutely love this palette i'm really really glad that i picked this up and uh, let me give this swatches because oh wow this burgundy pink color is just so beautiful this trust me the, the pigmentation on these is really 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 amazing and absolutely love the palette i mean look at it that's that so if at all you have a chance to pick up this palette, just go for it because I absolutely recommend it. If you are not really into like collecting makeup or something, if you just want one perfect palette, go for this one. Definitely. I actually put this up on my Instagram and a lot of you actually got this. Right. I have very few things from drugstore and I've not been really shopping at drugstore much but then I made a trip to Walgreens and I got just four goodies. The first one I have here is a Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless uh, foundation. It's kind of new. Uh, I got a couple of requests to review this foundation. So I just got it from Walmart for $5, 5 or $6. And I'm going to try it for some time, you know, uh, wear it out in the sun and see how it goes and then review it for you after I reach a final verdict. So that's that and the next one I have here is a Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick and this is in the shade 913C Sandstorm and I believe it's a new color I never even saw this color so it's a beautiful neutral color so I thought why not I actually colored these lipsticks I absolutely love them so just had to pick up I actually saw a few more new colors that I'm going to pick up so that's sandstorm beautiful color right love it all right and the next one i picked up is this jordana modern matte lipstick in matte beige i'm literally obsessed with the formula of these lipsticks i already have one and this is my second one so i'm going to swatch it and it's called matte bear and that's matte bear it's slightly lighter than the sandstorm from wet and wild so that's matte bear all right and the next one i have here is a maybelline uh, lipstick and this is their 100 years celebration lipstick 100 year celebration lipstick or something they released about i think six lipsticks in this collection my walgreens had the entire uh, collection but then i just picked up one because i saw a uh, total make makeup junkie 101 she actually swatched this lipstick on her instagram she mentioned that these are nothing really special but i really wanted to get one just to add in my collection because the packaging is really really adorable and uh, i got a nude shade and i'm very much into nude colors these days this is called purpose purposeful mauve and wow this is this is a good nude and that's purposeful mauve it's like a shiny uh shiny nude color so that's that all right so those are all the things that i picked up from the drugstore but i have a little bag 
Uh, my friend actually gave this as a birthday gift. She actually picked up a few things from drugstore that she loves. So I am going to show you because I got a little more exciting stuff here. The first one I have here is this um, Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Eyeliner and they actually recently changed the formula of these i have their old ones that i'm not really impressed but i heard they changed the formula and someone actually tagged me i think mr fabulous instagram page i'm kind of not don't remember your exact uh, instagram name i'm sorry but um, she's uh, she's been actually tagging me a lot on instagram and she's been letting me know uh, about a lot of exciting makeup out there so thank you very much mr fabulous or for something something like that so uh thank you very much for that so she actually swatched these and oh gosh these are very very creamy and i absolutely love this color i don't know if you can see but yeah that's done and this is called pores no pros and bronze so that's that. I don't know if you can see, but it's a very beautiful color, very, very creamy, and I'm so, so, so excited. The next one she got me is a uh, elf, elf matte lip color, and this is in rich red. I had this on my list, and I was like so happy to get it, and such a beautiful red color. It's like a pinky red color, so that's rich red. It doesn't look matte though. I don't know. Alright, the next thing I got is a Wet n Wild Balm Stain and it, this is a new shade and this is called Radioactive and you all know how much I love my Wet n Wild Balm Stains. I'm actually going to film a review and swatch video very very soon sometime this month itself. So stay tuned for that and I'm going to add this as well but this is a beautiful, beautiful, corally, pinky, red and whatnot. I don't know how to describe but it's like a really 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 pretty color this is called radioactive just just so 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 beautiful many many thanks to my friend i have to message her after this video because i just absolutely love the colors and then she also gave me this uh, jordana modern matte lipstick and this is called matte it girl i had my eye on this and when i saw this color in this bag I just literally did a happy dance so absolutely love it and that's the color matte it girl so so far I have three mod matte lipsticks and I'm planning to pick up a few more I'm actually looking into getting matte innocent but I'm not really sure why I'm not able to find it in any Walgreens I so far checked four or five different Walgreens not able to find matte innocent so I wanted to get that color and a few more so if you want to see us watch us and review video just let me know and then she also gave me a milani's color statement lipstick my favorite kind of lipsticks and this is called uh naturally chic oh let me swatch it here oh my god this is such a beautiful nude color so that's naturally chic by milani i love these lipsticks i have a few of these and absolutely love it and then she got me two nail polishes and this is from wet n wild this is called bite the bullet one of my very very favorite colors and i absolutely love it get this color it's very very good against our skin tone so bite the bullet from wet n wild she also got me another nail polish from the sally hansel triple shine collection i don't really have any polishes from this collection so again a happy dance so that's a beautiful color and it's called make waves make waves it's a beautiful mermaid kind of ocean kind of color so awesome awesome and then finally i have this really cute pair of earrings and also this peel off mask from montage genese uh it's a deep de deep cleanse purify and protect pomegranate passion flower so it's like a peel off face mask all right so those are all the things that i recently hauled with that let's wrap up this video i have a swatches all over my hand so let's wrap up this video and uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up it motivates me so much to make more amazing videos for you so thumbs up makes me 
happy and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button the red subscribe button right there uh, if you're not subscribed already just click that subscribe button it's completely free you get updates whenever i upload a new video so you don't miss out on my videos and also it supports me so that's pretty much it until my next video lots of love bye bye i really like the detailing like this sorry and these are the things that i wear under my shirts to